What is Kubernetes? Kubernetes is a portable, extensible, open source platform for managing containerized workloads and services that facilitates both declarative configuration and automation. It has a large, rapidly growing ecosystem. Kubernetes services, support, and tools are widely available. The name Kubernetes originates from Greek meaning pilot. K8 is an abbreviation resulting from counting the eight letters between the K and the S. Google open source the Kubernetes project in 2014. Kubernetes combines over 15 years of Google's experience running production workloads at scale with best of breed ideas and practices from the community. Let us understand why we do we need Kubernetes. Containers are a good way to bundle and run your applications. In a production environment, you need to manage the containers that run that application and ensure that there is no downtime. For example, if a container goes down, another container needs to start. Wouldn't it be easier if this behavior was handled by a system, system automated? That's how Kubernetes comes to the rescue. Kubernetes provides you with a framework to run distributed systems resiliently. It takes care of scaling and failover for your application, provides deployment patterns and more. For example, Kubernetes can easily manage a canary development for your system. Kubernetes provides us with the following features. Number one, it's service discovery and load balancing. Let us understand what it is. Kubernetes can expose a container using the DNS name or using their own IP address. If traffic to a container is high, Kubernetes is able to load balance and distribute the network traffic so that the deployment is stable. Number two, storage orchestration. Kubernetes allows you to automatically mount a storage system of your choice such as local storage, public cloud providers, and more. Number three, automated rollouts and rollbacks. You can describe the desired state for your deployed containers using Kubernetes, and it can change the actual state to the desired state at a controlled rate. For example, you can automate Kubernetes to create new containers for your deployment, remove existing containers, and adopt all their resources to the new container. Number four, automatic bin packing. You provide Kubernetes with a cluster of nodes that it, it can use to run containerized tasks. You tell Kubernetes how much CPU and memory RAM each container needs. Kubernetes can fit containers onto your nodes to make the best use of your resources. Number five, self-healing. Kubernetes restarts containers that fail, replaces containers, kills containers that don't respond to your user-defined health check, and doesn't advertise them to clients until they are ready to serve. Number six, secret and configuration management. Kubernetes lets you store and manage sensitive information such as passwords, OAuth tokens, and SSH keys. You can deploy and update secrets and application configuration without rebuilding your container images and without exposing secrets in your stack configuration. I hope you found this video useful. If you do, please like the video, comment below, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.